Hey everyone and welcome to Audio Architects. My name is Mike. If this is your first time here, thank you for watching and don't forget to watch all my other content and check that stuff out because I, I think it's worthwhile. So check that out. If you like the content, definitely smash that like, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time I put out new content, which is religiously on Fridays. So what are we doing today? Today I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. However, let me give you a little backstory. As I grew up when I was a kid, I always listened to music music on headphones and ever since I got into the whole hi-fi thing and speakers and amplifiers and all this other crazy stuff I began to gravitate away from you know headphones in-ear monitors stuff like that I recently checked out a few of Z reviews as uh you know, reviews on headphones and stuff. And I'm like, okay, this dude looks like he's having a really good time. You know, he looks like he's having a absolute blast with all these headphones and reviewing them. And he, he's done a really great job. So I kind of wanted to try it out, you know? So uh, I checked out all of his videos. Well, not all of them because there's so many, but I checked out a few of his videos and saw that there was one headphone in particular that he was kind of partial to that was within my budget. So I went out and bought it. So let me uh, go ahead and unbox this for you. So here it is, the Ship 9500s, as they're so frequently called, the Ship 9500s by Philips. Um, these have been reviewed very highly. They originally came out at a price point of about 60 bucks and they are now about 73, 74 bucks on Amazon. Okay, so for those of you that are like, Mike, you've lost your mind. No, I haven't. I've recently been listening to a lot of music with uh, my IEMs from Periodic Audio, which I really love. So I wanted to take it a step further, get some over-ear headphones, and these seem to be the bee's knees. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what we got inside. Right, here we go. Okay, they come in a cool little nylon pouch. Ah, precious silica. Um, holy moly. So, first things first, this is an abnormally long cable to, <laughs> I mean, I don't know where they're expecting me to, I guess I can walk around the house with this thing but oh my god so literally uh i guess it's cool if you're plugged into a headphone amp and you want to like be relaxing somewhere it does come with the adapter for the the bigger plug which is cool and of course i'm going to put all the little nitty-gritty stuff in the in the specifications and stuff like that but yeah cool so if you have a headphone amp or something that takes the bigger plug as opposed to the little three and a half millimeter. That's rad. Uh, you know, nice branded Phillips plug. I mean, dude, this thing's long as shit. Oh my God. This thing is super long. I think it's like, they said it was like eight feet or something. I don't know, but this is ridiculously long. I probably will get something a little bit shorter, but uh, for now, I mean, it's, it's what they gave us. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Oh, wow. Oh wow, dude. Oh my God, these are, these are huge. They do have the, as it says on the side, the open acoustic architecture. So they're open in the back. Um, these are actually pretty legit. That is pretty rad. It has the little numbers on the side as well. Uh, if you don't know which one right or left is, obviously they've, they've let you know. So this is right, this is left. It feels, good it feels comfy let's see how it let's see how it is you know uh, i have a big head so i have to go at least a number at least a number two hopefully not bigger than that we'll do two right left oh wow yeah these are very comfortable how they look they are very comfortable they don't squeeze you like some do you know how some have that that freaking you know pressure on there so they're not like gonna give me a headache or anything they just kind of sit nicely on my on my ears i kind of dig these things holy moly this is kind of cool they look rad 
Let's see if they do they pivot. Yeah, they do pivot a little bit. I don't want to break these things, but yeah, they do pivot a little bit. They do have a little bit of tape on there. I saw that Zia uh, definitely mentioned the tape, so I'll definitely mention the tape as well. The tape is there uh, so there won't be any abrasion and it won't get scratched up by when they pivot. However, it doesn't look like they're even touching that area, so right on. Um, yeah, these are kind of cool, man. For 60, for 70 bucks, like, ah, man, they have the nice Phillips. Dude, these are, these are legit. So I don't want to take up any more time. I want to listen to these like for a while and I'll come back and give you my final thought on what I thought of these things. I think they're pretty rad though, so far, aesthetically. Cool, let's see how they sound. The Philips Ship 9500 have a practical design that looks cool without being too flashy. They are a matte black with a metal frame and Philips branding on the ear cups and headband. They are well padded and look a lot better than other headphones well above their price range. The ear cup padding is soft and the mesh feels great against the ears completing the total package. As I mentioned before, the clamping force of the headphones is very comfortable due to the padding and build. The headphones themselves are quite large, so portability could be an issue. However, with a nice aftermarket case, they should fit well in a backpack or overnight bag. They come with 50mm neodymium drivers that deliver a full spectrum of sound. The drivers are angled to fit the ear's natural geometry, creating a more authentic listening experience. I mentioned earlier they are open back, over ear headphones. An acoustic open back architecture eliminates air pressure buildup behind the driver, giving the diaphragm greater freedom of movement. This greatly enhances sound transparency and smooths extended high frequencies. Overall, the design, engineering, and price create value only stumbled upon once in a great while. All right, guys. So I had took the time, took a little bit of time to listen to them. Wow, dude, for 70 bucks. Honestly, I've listened to, you know, at shows and stuff like that. I've listened to headphones that are in the thousands of dollars range. I mean, these have good clarity, really nice mids and highs. The bass, it's, it's not a very bassy uh, pair of headphones. However, the bass is there. So it's not like it's lacking. It's just not like over accentuated like some of the new uh, headphones that you see out there, the Skull Candy and stuff like that, that, you know, they pride themselves and put it, basically putting subwoofers in your ears. Um, nothing wrong with that. If that's the way you like to listen to music, but I like these a lot. I can see now why everybody's just like freaking out over them. So I hooked them up to my iPhone using that little Palo View Ampstar uh, amplifier thing that I got uh, the other day. And these are legit. These are super legit. I, I honestly would recommend you guys. I'll put the uh, link in the description below on how where to get them. Honestly, man, for the price, you cannot. I mean, these are so cool. These are so cool. And this is like my first new pair of like legit over your headphones um and they they look like they're gonna last me a long time and they're super comfortable a little a little hot they get a little hot you know i had them on for about you know 30 45 minutes just listening to some tunes but they did get a little warm however i have heard that that is one of the uh one of the the cons to these is that they do get a little warm um, especially if you're exercising or doing anything like that. However, with my easy listening, just laying in bed or whatever, I think this is going to be more than fine. So that is my take on it. That's my final thought. I think these are a win. I think you should definitely, if you're in the market to buy a pair of over ear headphones, these should be top of your list because the value, the value is there 70 bucks. And you know, these literally sound way beyond their price point. So guys, if you dug the content, smash that like, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to get notified anytime I put out new content. And stay tuned next week for a brand new episode. Thanks again for joining me guys, and we'll see you soon. Yeah, these are these are ridiculously good. I guess I'm a head fi now. Oh my god, I'm into head fi. Not really though, but I am though. A little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs>